Hello everyone and welcome to Cherub Teaching Center. My name is Poonam and I am a Microsoft Certified Educator. Today I am going to train you on making something creative. That is, I am going to train you on how to make an image to be a 3D image and that way people are going to use it with the help of a tool which is called as Paint 3D. You don't have to install this tool people. This tool is available in every Windows 10 computer, either a laptop or a desktop that you people have. And today I'm going to train you on how you can make your image to be an effective image by using this tool. And in this part one video that I'm going to take you through, I'm going to train you actually draw in front of you how you people can go ahead and make that image to be a 3D image altogether. Now, in order to utilize this tool, as I've already stated, this Paint 3D app is available by default in Windows 10 computer. And what you people have to do is, in order to access this, you people will be going ahead in the search bar and then you have to type in Paint 3D. The moment you're going to type in Paint 3D, this is the app how it looks like and this is what we are going to access today. You need to double click on this app and the moment you're going to double click on this app, there would be this thing which is available in front of you. Okay, alright. Now, what we people are going to do is, now there are three options that you people are seeing in front of you, new, open and then we come on to the paste option. I'm not going to take you through the open because open you will be using only if by default previously there is certain image which is there in your computer which you people are going to use it in order to make that thing to be a 3D image. But I'm going to take you through the new option today and this entire session that I've built for you today is I would be training you how you people will be making an image okay so let's start over you people need to click on new like this now the moment you people will be clicking on new this is the screen which is going to open in front of you people and today in this part one of the video I'm going to cover the brush option okay how you people can go ahead how you people can draw it and how that image can be effectively utilized in order to convert it into a 3d image altogether now there are multiple options of the brush which is available in front of you I'm going to draw an image in front of you people and then accordingly you people will be able to have a better clarity of it now this pencil icon that you people are seeing over here we can use this pencil icon for drawing a rough overdraft whenever your people want to generate or actually draw an image. Now this thing that you people see, there are two things or two you know options that we have al available one is the thickness another is the opacity thickness is how do you want this pencil to be used do you want the thickness to be too much or it has to be low so subsequently you can go ahead and adjust it and simultaneously you can also adjust the opacity of the pencil so let me just so i have at this moment i have clicked on the pencil option i clicked on the pencil and this is what i'm going to draw in front of you people just now let's have a look let me just make the thickness a little bit more so that you people are able to see it actually. Okay. All right. And one minute. I'll increase the opacity as well because maybe you people are not getting an idea of what actually I'm drawing. So let's say this is what I've drawn. Okay and this is how the image looks like and so I'm just going to generate a rough draft in front of you people and then we people can go ahead okay so now you can see that you can change the thickness of the pencil and you can increase the opacity depending upon your requirement people. So I'm just going to draw a rough overdraft. Okay. And then let's draw it over here also. Okay. Alright. So this image it goes like this so you can draw anything I mean just for that sake what I'm doing is I'm just trying to create a scenery out of it so that I should be able to understand what exactly is the option of each and every brush which is available 
so this at this moment what I've done and done is I have generated a rough overdraft where I have drawn a particular you know using this pencil option and just adjusting the thickness altogether I have drawn this scenery altogether and now what we people are going to do is we are going to cover it uh, I mean color it so for coloring what I will be doing is I would be going with these options which is available okay I will be going ahead so you can see that this brush option which is available this is for the watercolor I would be selecting this watercolor and then I'm going to select the color altogether let me say that I'm going to go with dark gray okay and I'm going to use it my watercolor over here okay I've used it and then I have used my watercolor over here okay all right similarly I'm going to use my watercolor over here so now you people are able to understand that I have selected the watercolor as a brush I've selected the color and then I'm simply highlighting it now next I will select the light gray color and light gray I'm going to utilize it over here in this part okay similarly I'm going to use it in this part for the watercolor okay and this I can use it over here also and then subsequently I can use this watercolor over here as well okay now for the mountains what we people are going to do is I'm going to choose another color and the color that I'm going to use it is I'm going to you know pick up this pixel pencil now the pixel pencil I can use it when I want to you know give a very fine outlining to my given uh, you know picture or the data that I'm going to use it again people it's totally in your hand how you people can go ahead and you can select your thickness even the opacity you people can go ahead and control it if mistakenly anything wrong has happened you people can go ahead and you need to select on this undo option okay like this and I want to tell you one more thing that this history option that you people need to that you are seeing on the top please ensure that it is turned on because when the history option is turned on everything that you people will be doing it is automatically going to be recorded okay all right so let's go ahead and I with the pixel pencil I've selected this color and I'm going to use this thing a little bit for the outlining part like this okay and similarly I may use it over here also alright so I've used it over here now next is the crayon option people you people can go ahead you can select the crayon and then you people can go ahead and select the color altogether if the color is not matching your requirement you can go ahead and click on this plus option over here where you can automatically go ahead and customize the color and you can select it either if you know the you know the hex number that you can go ahead and type in if not you can select the thing or the colors over here and then you have to click on ok which you people can go ahead and now color it so you can see that it is going like this okay so this is how you people can go ahead and you can use the crayon option okay all right similarly I can go ahead and I can color with the help of a crayon over here also all right so I have done the crayon okay the color option crayon is over here which has been done okay all right so this is what I have done okay so here also I have gone ahead with the crayon option and let me just give it a outlining like this I can go ahead I can select a different color also for better you know just for the representing an image uh, just to give it a, a texture and a 3d look all together just by varying and altering the color I can go ahead and I can type it to you know just give it a direction over here and I can go ahead and I can use my color over here also and okay so this is how it looks like okay so you people can see it so now we are done with the coloring 
of this also and another thing that I would like to update you is any color that you people are going to select there are multiple options which are available it's a polished metal it's a dull metal it's a matte color it's a gloss altogether so it's totally up to you which exactly is the color that you people want to give it so if you people are selecting the dust that is a color that is so you people can use it like this and similarly you people can use it like this over here okay all right so now we are done with the crayon color the next thing that i'm going to make you people understand and we are going to use it is we are going to use a calligraphic pen the calligraphy pen i have selected again it is for giving a better outlining to my material in which which you people can do is you people can go ahead you can adjust the opacity and the thickness i can use my calligraphy pencil over here so it's going to give it to my data a better you know uh, representation in terms of uh, 3d image altogether okay okay all right so i can go ahead i can use my calligraphy pencil like this and similarly i can go ahead i can use just for the differentiation purpose i can go ahead i can use my calligraphy pencil over here also okay all right so this thing is done and then we people are going to use it over here also okay okay all right so now you people can see it's done okay now once the calligraphy pencil is done now the next thing that i'm going to use it is an oil brush so again for the oil brush again people you people can go ahead and you can adjust the thickness as per your demand at this moment i'm going to use an aqua color just because i wanted to draw the color so this is how the river it flows like so i'm going to give it a color like this okay okay so this is how the oil brush you people can go ahead and use it okay so over here again you people can go ahead and then you people can quickly adjust the thickness and let me say that now i'm going to increase my thickness of the paint brush why because the water is now falling down so here so now this is how the water is coming like and it may go over here and from here till here and again i can go ahead select the thickness and then i can go ahead fill in these portions tiny little portions over here and i can go ahead i am using my color okay all right and then what i can do is i can again go ahead i can select the oil uh, the marker option and then i can go with light gray just to give it or what i can do is a little bit of spray so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select the spray can okay just to give it a better you know flow okay all right so let me just take out this line over here the one that i have already created i want to take it out so this is how you can take it out you can go ahead and click on undo option okay so this is the uh, uh, the watercolor that you people have done now we are going to do the coloring of the sun so let me just select this gold color over here i'm going to select the spray can you can also select the fill color that's totally up to you then only you have to hit it once but i'm going to go with this color all together people and then the next color that i'm going to select is this one which i'm going to use it for the sky right the one that is over here i can go ahead i can give it a filler or a coloring like this okay all right okay so you people can go ahead you can fill in your color with the help of the spray can like this okay any image that you would like to draw that could be any image related to your project or anything that you people would like to cover it and now let's do another thing what we are going to do is with the help of the spray can i'm going to form a little bit of clouds as well okay so here what i'm going to do it 
let me just form the clouds over here also okay so these are tiny little clouds okay all right now once we are done with this image now you people can see that this marker which you people have highlighted we can use this marker of a portion for you know generating a better outlining of the given thing or the given you know the structure that we people have drawn you can go ahead and you can adjust the thickness and then you people can go ahead and you can use this marker just to highlight that portion altogether so that's totally up to you like this you people can go ahead and do it similarly i'm going to use this marker option over here all right so it goes like this and then I can use it over here okay all right and then uh, this calligraphy pen as I've said that calligraphy pen is used for making a better differentiation in between the images altogether oil brush if I talk about is going to give the oil paint that we people have utilized in drawing this uh, river altogether watercolor also you can use it this is for that K pixel pen is for giving a very fine outlining okay and this calligraphy pen can also be used in case if you want to draw you you know people uh, because this goes as per your stroke okay in case if you want to draw the trees or something like that you people can go ahead and you can use this calligraphy pen also and then if I talk about you know so this calligraphy pen if I talk about for example if you're using like this let's say uh, there is a tree that you people would like to draw it see with the help of your stroke you people can just go ahead and leave it so this is how it's going to look like okay which you people can do it all right so similarly you people can go ahead and use the stroke over here and then accordingly you can use it for the branches so the way you people drop it and then that thing can be used as an additional structure over here all right so this is the beautiful that is of the calligraphy pen and next is the pencil option which you people can use it for drawing a certain image altogether eraser yes obviously we can use it in case if something has gone wrong over here for example this thing if i want to do it you can use it over here okay and then crayon option you can use it for making a painting like a crayon option and then a spray can you can use it for giving a spray painting altogether and then we have the fill can in fill can you people again need to select a particular color you can go ahead and select on that image that is going to use it now once this image of ours is now ready what we people are going to do is i'm going to give it a special effect so what i'm going to do is i will be clicking on this effect option over here and then I'm going to use this you know image so now you can see that the moment I'm rotating my wheel it's giving the brightness to my image so in case if this is the image that I would like to select so that's totally in your hand you can go ahead and select it and in case if you want to give your image a 3d view people you can go ahead click on the 3d and this is how the 3d image is going to look like and accordingly you people can also go ahead and you can use the canvas option now when you're going to use the canvas option you can go ahead and click on transparent canvas which is going to give a transparent background if needed if you people really need it only then it is going to give a transparent background otherwise when I go back and I can go over the effects over here let me just turn the 3d off and if I want to change my background in color over here I can go ahead I can select any of the image which is available people and then accordingly I can go ahead and use it so let me just turn the transparent thing off so that you people will be able to see the effects so you can choose the backgrounding of the image with any of the options people that is available over here you can go ahead and you can choose it that's totally your choice but the moment you people are going to choose it there is a circular wheel which is available with the help of which you can increase the brightness of the uh, option which is available altogether and in case if you would like to give your image to be a 3d image you can go ahead click on 3d view and then you can rotate your image also by simply clicking on this icon which is available over here so this is when you people are actually drawing your image okay then you people can go ahead and you can use it if you want to give it a canvas effect what you people can do is 
you can go ahead and select on the canvas option which is available over here if you want to give it a transparent outlook you can go ahead and you can select on this option and then accordingly you people can give it a 3d view now you people can see that it is available and it is also visible and then accordingly you people can go ahead and you can select or change the backgrounding of the image to get a give it a better visual appeal so over here now we people are seeming and it is showing that the water is overflowing people this is how the things would look like once I would be using the 3d effect of my image altogether okay alright so uh, this was all about people today and today as I've stated I've trained you on how to create a 3d image okay now once your 3d image is created you people what you need to do is you need to go ahead and save it and for saving you people are going to go over here in the menu option and then you're going to click go, uh, click on save as and you can save it on your computer wherever you feel like okay so uh, this was all about it people so please ensure just use this option which is available you can use it for n number of things that you people feel like and you can give your image to a 3d image or a 3d texture altogether basis this brush option that we people have today covered so just go ahead start creating your own images which you people can design anything even if you want to generate any image for your own project of your own you can go ahead and create that image altogether so uh, before I proceed ahead so this thing that I've trained you on today is I've only covered part one of the paint 3d option where I've trained you actually on how to use this uh, you know the brush option and those who have not subscribed to the channel yet I would request you to please go ahead and subscribe to Cherub Teaching Center there are more things which are coming up your way where I will be training you on innovative and creative things all together in case if you have any queries you can reach me on Instagram at cherub.teaching.center you can also reach me on Facebook at Cherub Teaching Center in case if you want to reach me on Microsoft Teams you can reach me on Cherubians altogether so that was all for today people thank you very much have a nice day ahead